the very highest level, this is so ingrained in our mission to democratize AI for every seller. The change is open access to everyone all the time. It's a partnership. We want to make it as easy as possible to be there at the very beginning of your journey. This new model helps those beginners get a good foothold in growth. You know, we want every seller to have this opportunity. All right, Alistair, another conversation. This time we're getting in the weeds on a very specific subject, vision casting forward, not too far into the future. We're talking about free, the concept of uh, democratizing information, technology, education, all in the context of take a metrics and flywheel. So in my mind, a first part of this conversation is defining is giving some context. So maybe we should give some context. When we're talking about free, when we use that word, what does that mean? What does that look like within the take metrics platform? Well, I think it comes really high level to our mission. You know, we're here as a company to help as many sellers and brand owners as possible. We want to help them maximize their potential on the most valuable marketplaces. We wanna do that with technology and a really, really powerful way to do that is to give them accessibility, make it as easy as possible, frictionless as possible to be able to consume our AI, get value from that technology and help them perform on those marketplaces. So at the very highest level, this is so ingrained in our mission to democratize AI for every seller. So, you, you know, it's a big deal. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we wanna take all of that energy, you know, our, our investment, our R&D, investment and and really allow any seller to use it so we're giving people access to our ecosystem for free right so that's the change the change is open access to everyone all the time in the tool what what does that what does that mean that simply put that means that everyone will get access to everything no drawbacks is that what this platform looks like well we've put a huge amount of work into our new platform flywheel 2.0 Firstly, we want everyone to be able to test and use the software and use our AI with no cost, no risk. And uh, we've taken away the credit card requirement that was in Flywheel 1. So any user, regardless of size, can, can sign in, use the technology. And then in, in terms of the actual business model and in terms of our actual pricing model, if you're below a certain mm -hmm. threshold and the threshold that we're using is $10,000 of GMV or total monthly sales. It is completely free to use the AI technology. The goal there is we want, we know how hard it is to start out as a seller and scale mm -hmm. on a platform like Amazon or Walmart. And we want to partner with you. We don't want to monetize you. We don't want to incur you any cost. that's on us and it's a partnership, right? It's, it's an opportunity to help a seller get to a certain size. And we've seen these incredible stories where entrepreneurs, brand owners, big or small have launched on marketplaces and have scaled very quickly. We want to make it as easy as possible to be there at the very beginning of your journey. And that's why that threshold so important when you're beyond $10,000 a month in uh, GMV or monthly sales. We're charging a percentage of your ad spend. And really what we're doing there is we're constantly optimizing to ensure that the performance of your advertising relates to the overall growth of the business. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the flywheel effect that we've been so passionate about. And our entire platform is around that premise, growing and investing in advertising with the overall business context, overall profitability in many cases, of course, on a platform like Amazon, as an example, you're you're seeing this incentive to sell as much stuff as possible. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a, a disconnect between the amount of ad spend. What we do with Flywheel is optimize that ad spend for the highest possible return. And that's where every seller needs that automation. Mm -hmm. And we want to give that away a to them and, and allow them to use it. So the, the idea starting all the way with the beginners, the idea is to give people a foothold in an ecosystem that helps them perform very well to, of course, raise 
raise the bar, keep on growing. And this concept, like this new model, helps those beginners get a good foothold in growth. Yeah, right? I mean, it, it's I mean, everyone starts, every business starts somewhere, and uh, we want to be there at the very beginning of that journey. Um, and you, 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 you've seen some incredible stories, like uh, one of our customers, Solo Stove, recently went public uh, under Solo Brands. And uh, you know th that was a, a small business at, at one point, and now it's a public company. Um, you now this is about embracing entrepreneurship. This is about the American dream. Um, this opportunity to uh, launch products at lower cost than ever before on on marketplaces. But it's also complicated. Mm. Amazon, Walmart, other channels like Instagram shops. How do you balance all of these different priorities? How do you be competitive across thousands of keywords, maybe thousands of products. And that's where automation and AI really creates so much leverage for these entrepreneurs. I would also add the last two years have been extremely challenging. You know, we've had a global pandemic mm -hmm. and then we've had a massive supply chain shock. It's, uh, it's around 80% more expensive to ship goods transatlantic or or um from from asia to to, to still, the us yeah still, still 80 percent. Yeah. it's around you know ten thousand dollars a 40 foot container and compare that to a year ago you know, it was around five thousand dollars and you know what's so important for us is when a business and one of our customers and one of our sellers or brand owners is going through these challenges we're there for them we're flexing we're flexing our costs and helping them as they ride the waves of, of, of the challenges. Right. And we know what it's like. You know, I was one of the first third party sellers on Amazon all the way back in 2003, and it's a tough journey. Mm. We have a ton of respect for that. We know how hard it is. Um, you know, you, you, you're, you're, you're not gonna get all of that expertise, all of that help from Amazon or Walmart. Right. And of course, when you add multiple channels, it just becomes even more complicated. So I'm, I'm curious, I'm taking the perspective of a seller here. It might be easy for someone to um, look at the concept of free as uh, diminishing the value of what's behind the gate. Not necessarily, I don't think everyone would think that, but I think that's a possibility of thinking, well, okay, everyone has access to the same thing, it's free, it's democratizing the access to everything. But what would you say to the people that might think like, is that might question, is this, does this diminish the value of what's behind that free gate? I look at it as a partnership. It's a partnership hmm. to partner with every one of our customers and we have to deliver value to exist. That's our responsibility. And having no credit requirements, no initial cost, allows us to be really, really honest about that partnership. We want you to try us mm. and grow with us. And you know that's that's just really, really important. Yeah. Um, you know, you have on the other side of the table, Amazon, who takes on average, by the way, around 30% of the overall transaction. We're taking a tiny fraction of that, you know, 3% of ad spend, and that boils down to a around 0.3 of total GMV or monthly sales. So in exchange for that small amount, we think we can deliver huge value. Yeah, That's a great partnership. And, um, you know, it, it it's less about... Um, free in the sense of, of value being being given away for nothing. It's about a partnership and it's about us proving value. Free is an opportunity for Taker Metrics to show what it can do. Yeah. And I think that's just so important. There's so many different solutions out there. There's so many different, you know, challenges. We want to be considered as a, as a really important part of your business. And um, you know, retail is really hard. There are uh, so many different cuts into your margin, into your gross margin, um, marketplace fees, shipping fees, rising shipping fees, by the way, advertising costs. We want to be on the, the mission of continually helping optimize all of those to, to, to really make you more money and grow. This conversation of free is so much bigger than it, it involves so much of the technology, but this concept is also bleeding into other key areas of Ticketmetrics as well. AdMax is a pretty good example of free access to the best education, to the best information, coinciding with the technology. So 
using that as an example, I'm curious, looking ahead to what's next, how is this concept bleeding into the future of take metrics and what's to come? That's a great point. And look, it's the AI is this incredible tool that it allows you to automate, but without the education of how to apply that, without the full context of all of the right strategic moves that you need to make as a, as a seller or a brand owner, it's not gonna be successful. Right. So what we found for doing this for years is we have a responsibility, we have an opportunity, we have billions of dollars worth of transactions going through our platform. We have billions of dollars of ad spend going through our platform. We work with thousands of sellers. Our experts, our data scientists, our AI experts, our engineers have a very privileged and trusted position. We wanna compile the learnings. We wanna compile the insights, the hard facts that only we have because of the scale. Mm -hmm. And we wanna package that in an educational format that's truly valuable to every seller. And that's what you've done, Cameron, with AdMax and the team. And it's been a tremendous success. We wanna just keep doing that. Yeah. We wanna keep educating. The world of e-commerce is moving so quickly, different ad types, different challenges, different issues regarding supply chain and logistics. We wanna continue. We're almost thinking of ourselves as Sherpas, right? You're going mm. through this tremendously challenging, journey through the mountains trying to climb to the top yeah. who do you trust mm. and we have you know years of experience you know collectively billions of dollars worth of uh, transaction data that is quite unique you know amazon doesn't have that perspective walmart doesn't have that right. perspective um you know we're really proud of that opportunity and we want to give it back and we want to give it back to help every single seller i think that's the opportunity talking about the the broad vision of the direction that all of this is headed into. Really, I mean, as things continue to get more and more difficult, the the we, we only have a, a limited amount of energy, time, attention, and where all that is put really matters, especially at the scale that's required to perform well in e-commerce nowadays. The, the things that you have equipped yourself with and the people that you trust really matter. And that's where I see this opening up of getting under the hood, getting access to all this unique data and information that you can only find in circumstances like this. And that's important to pay attention to, I think, that it's it's difficult to find information, uh, yeah. data and technology like that in one place. Well, well, you know, that word trust is so important. I mean, we're really proud that, um, you know, so many businesses have performed extremely well with us. And, you know, that leads into this, um, flywheel of our own, you know, mm. this, these insights, the scale of our data set, the ability to understand what works and what doesn't work. That's what every seller wants to know. Right. How do you succeed? What is the playbook? What should you be automating? Which ad types? What should I do with various scenarios? And, you know, we're in a position because of our learnings, because of our data to be able to actually provide that. And it's, you know, it is a winning combination. You know, we, we see our sellers outperforming the market tremendously. And, um, you know, we wanna help as many, we haven't even scratched the surface of, of, of the number of sellers that we wanna help yeah. coming full circle to, to why we want, um, uh, you know, we want every seller to have this opportunity. We want every seller to, to be a part of it. I mean, of course, every seller on Amazon uses Seller Central, every seller on Walmart uses Seller Center. Um, there's a gap, you know, Amazon mm. and Walmart are on the, the marketplace side. They provide the demand with the yep. consumers. Yep. Amazon is the world's most consumer centric company, arguably lowest pr prices, maximum selection and convenience. That's who they are focused on. That's what made Jeff Bezos so successful. He was focusing on the best consumer experience mm. at take metrics. We're focused on the best seller experience being trusted by every, every seller, giving every seller the opportunity, giving every seller the education. And, you know, I think that's a really powerful uh, notion. You know, we've got over 300 employees extremely passionate about that. And we're fortunate to have received outside funding at scale now. And all of that money, all of that investment, all of that energy is going to that yeah. mission. So 
taking a step back, let's let's talk about. I want to focus on the seller. This is kind of the wind down to the conversation. You have a unique position to to uh, you're uniquely positioned to provide context. I think on the market as a whole, and that comes for sellers specifically. So I want to pull that out as the final thing here. This next year specifically, 2022. What is the what is the biggest thing that you think sellers need to focus on to succeed in the year ahead? Well, I think um, you know there's a there's a lot. There's you know getting a handle of the the market conditions, resolving the logistics and supply chain challenges. But there's a really important thing uh, that I think is born out of some of the challenges, and I think you see this in 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 business sometimes, and it's a sort of a silver lining concept. And it's the opportunity to think multi-channel, mm. and um, you know we've we've been able to help so many sellers sell on more than one platform, Amazon, Walmart, and we're working on other platforms like Instagram and eBay, and Target as an example. And I think it's really really clear that there is opportunity on those channels. There's opportunity to think multi-channel, to think diversification. Yeah. And I think it's the sellers that can um, implement the right execution where AI and automation becomes even more valuable, even more leverage, because you've got cross-channel optimization, you've got um, more complexity. I think it's sellers that can implement that in 2022 and beyond. Um, those are the ones that are going to get competitive advantage versus just entirely being you know, uh, risk-focused on, on, on one channel. Yeah. Um, so we're building technologies to address that. And uh, a lot of our education is around that. And you know, when we look at the best in class sellers, it's the ones that are adopting that that right. opportunity to create incremental growth on those other channels yep. um, versus just being on, on one. Well, Alistair, thank you for giving insight, both in the market and on what's to come for Ticometrics. We've had conversations about the concept of free a little bit in the past, but this helps define that a little bit more. and. I, it gives some exciting context for what's to come and how that applies to information, education that's coming in the future as well. So thank you for explaining, for breaking it all down for us. Looking forward to our next conversation. Thank you very much, Cameron. It's fun.